What's going on guys today I'm going to give you a video review of Pack Rome version 20 on Xperia S. It is based on the latest Android version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean and it is one of the best ROM available for Xperia S. So let's power on the device now. As I uh, wake up the device you can see Android 4.2.2 lock screen with all the customizable widgets here. You can glide through or slide through the lock screen and see different widgets. You can also add your own widgets but widgets are uh, presently limited for the lock screen. Let's jump into about phone now. In about phone you can see android 4.2.2. If you continuously tap it you can uh, see a nice anim jelly bean animation and uh, some jelly beans on the screen. So let's move further. Let's see the customizations offered in this room. This room offers a lot of customization options for your Xperia S. The first option in the customization menu is the launcher settings. I am currently using Nova Launcher Prime so uh, you can see all the Nova Launcher settings. You can use different kinds of la launchers available on Android. So the second option is the So under the lock screen tab you can see different options to customize your lock screen. Under the toolbars tab, you can customize your status bar and you have this new feature called Pi Controls in which you can uh, drag across one corner of your screen and you can get a uh, few controls. You can see the few controls as I showed on the video. Under the themes tab, you have different themes which you can download and customize your phone. Under the hybrid properties menu which are the paranoid android settings you can change the UI of your cell phone you can change it to stock UI, phablet UI or tablet UI. You can also change the interface of your phone by uh, changing the by adding the navigation bar or changing the pixel density and uh, colors of status bar, navigation bar etc. So under the display menu you have this daydream feature which is new to android 4.2.2. So this is all about the settings menu, the new features which are available on this ROM. I want I want to show you the gaming performance of this ROM but since I am currently using screencast, uh, the gaming performance will be seriously hindered. So I will record a gaming performance uh, from my iPod and I will play it now. Sorry for the bad quality, I have recorded it from my iPod. So the gaming performance is very good on this ROM, you get a good frame rate without any lags or slowdowns. So now we'll check the camera performance. The camera performance has been improved on this ROM, you get a lot of new features on this ROM. So there's this HDR features which allows you to shoot photos in HDR mode and in the settings menu you can see you can choose different scenes etc and you can also store your location and the picture size in the picture size this ROM supports 12 megapixel camera and also 9 megapixel widescreen shots and 8 megapixels and other shots so now under the video settings you can shoot seven, you can shoot 720p video or 480p video on this ROM and you can also geotiger videos and you can add color effects currently there is no support for 1080p available on Cyanogen Mod 10 for Xperia S so this was the camera performance so now my final impressions on this ROM I did not face any type of random reboots or lags or slowdowns with this ROM and the transitions are very smooth and project butter is evident in this ROM so this is the most bug free ROM available on Xperia S and you should surely give it a try. So that's it guys this was my full review of pack ROM for Xperia S. Be sure to like this video and be subscribed to my channel for further coverage on iOS, Android and other tech related news. You can like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. You can also ask me your tech related queries by tweeting to me. So thank you guys. I hope you subscribe to my channel.